bring our next big bout. And your referee is Spike Cage. We got Shane Ballard, and uh, I don't even know why he's shaking the people's hands. Well, they like Shane Ballard. Look at all the kids and everybody shaking his hand. He's got nothing, he doesn't have any cooties. Well, first of all, I, th I think Shane Ballard is responsible. He's responsible for the swine flu uh, running around. Wait a minute, why do you say that? He's not even Mexican. Oh. And he, never, he hasn't visited Mexico recently either. He's a Canadian, he's a, from the Canadian swine flu. Yeah, the sw Oh, now you know what? That's not nice. Bret Hart is Canadian. Pat Patterson is Canadian. I thought Pat Patterson was for the Bay Area. Via Canada. All right, here's the music of another journeyman in pro wrestling, Virgil. Oh, look at him. I, I, the crowd seems to, I don't know, there was a mixed reaction there. Virgil making his way to the ring to his Virgil theme song. Well, he was part of the NWO, NWO Wolfpack. And uh, there he is. And he's still got the, the colors of the NWO, the black and white. Yes. But there he is, Virgil. Like I said, Virgil should be careful shaking these people's hands because you don't know where they've been. I'm not sure I understand that. I'm looking forward to see Shane Ballard. I haven't seen him in action in quite a long time. He's matured as a wrestler. Um, the fans love him. And it's unfortunate, but he's feuding with his brother Shannon now. Well, look at him right there. First of all, uh, be, oh, hold on a second. I think I'm going to get my hand sanitizer. Virgil trying to win the hearts. Now, why does he need the approval of the, of the fans? I don't understand that. He likes the approval of the fans, but so does Ballard. What they need to do is concentrate on what's in the ring because the fans cannot get in the ring right, well, and, and win the match for you. Well, you have to win the match. If, if right now, if you could pick a winner between these two athletes, who would it be? Well. That, that's a tough one. I've both been a well conditioned, as you can see. But I gotta tell you something. I don't. I don't like Shane right now. But he's a very capable wrestler. Uh, I don't. You like, you like his brother better, don't you? Yes. Yes. But but I will say this. He's a very well conditioned. Had Virgil coming over to our broadcast position. Um, I I'm, I've got to be. Imp I, I I'm not. I'm not. Excuse me. Really, I, I have a lot of pride in my comb over. Did you see what he did to me? What are you, what are you doing? Well, Virgil just socked me in the head. Well, well that's what you get for, for interfering. Your, your job is right here at ringside with me. Don't concern yourself with what's going on. Well, I tried to give Virgil my hand, but he hit me in the head. Why would you do it? The man is contaminated. I know, but I know him. He's not contaminated. Religion has nothing to do with it. Well, he's... Oh, what a... Virgil trying to raise the ire of the fans here in Newark, California. By the way, once again, this is WrestleFest, big time wrestling, and we are thrilled to be here. Yes, and as you can see, the crowd is riled up. They're ready to go, and this, this is gonna be a good match right here. I I'm telling you right now, I can feel. Whoa! Oh. Virgil with that chop that rocked oh. Ballard. Another one. I think the referee should be checking those chops. Those look illegal to me. Oh. 
Ballard coming back, but being taken over by Virgil. I can't, you know what? Virgil is in top form tonight, I gotta say that. A close line over the ropes, and Ballard is right here by our broadcast position. Right now, right now, Virgil seems to be having an upper hand, but she, what she needs to do, he needs to regroup. That's all he needs to do, regroup. It sounds to me like you're defending Ballard, who is a, he's not a rule breaker. Well, first of all, look, I respect the man. I, I, I gotta be honest, I don't like him right now, but I, but I have to respect the man. He's a very capable wrestler, and, uh, but I don't like him. There's an eye rake by Ballard trying to get into the ring. Virgil having a lot of trouble seeing. Ballard needs to get in there and follow up. No, what happened? What happened with Virgil's eyes? Well, why is he, uh, why is he, uh, oh, ba Ballard raked his eyes. I, I didn't see that. What, ha I, what happened? My monitor must be out. Uh, you're, we have to get these monitors checked here. By the way, the legendary announcer, Alan Bolte, so well known in the Bay Area. What a thrill to have him here announcing the matches tonight. Will you quit being a name dropper? And call the match. Well, he's a, he's a great ring announcer. Yes, I will grant you that. He's announced some of the greatest matches in the history of the Bay Area. That is true. I, I will say that. He goes back to the days of Ray Stevens and Pat Patterson in his prime and yes. Rocky the Soul Man Johnson. Yes, and um, I'm sure you go further than that. You, 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 you come from the days of Gorgeous George. No, no, I'm, I'm not that old. And I don't know if Abraham Lincoln was really a good wrestler or not. Well, he had the height and the weight for it. Ballard with a press, and he's got a two count. Virgil powering out. Yes, and of course, Sparky, the you know the very capable Sparky here, right? A uh, referee in this match. Whoa! There's a backhand elbow sh smash by Ballard. Virgil down now. Ballard with a knee drop, and it could be all over for Virgil now as he tries for the pin. One, two. He's only got a two count. That was it. I counted three. I don't know what's going on with the referee here. Uh, you, I, I think you have a little uh, problem with mathematics. No, as a matter of fact, in the, in the Canadian rule book, it says here, rule number four, you're allowed to count fast. Wait a minute, you also have a Canadian rule book? Of course. I'm well versed in all the rule books. There's a uh, chin lock, a powerful chin lock on Virgil by Ballard. Referee Sparky asking uh, Virgil if he wants to quit, and he does not want to do it, and Ballard takes him down. Yes, and you know what, uh, right now, uh, um, the, the referee should be uh, checking on the chin because th this could be a chokehold. Well, I, I, from our vantage point here, uh, and being fair to you, we cannot see if it's a choke or not. Well, my, my monitor is a little off here, but uh, I'm sure I'll get it fixed in a minute. But I'll tell you one thing though, the fans, Look at him. The, the fans seem to be uh, behind Virgil here. They're really getting into it. Which surprises me. I thought they'd be behind Ballard. What a stunning clothesline. The eyes of Virgil almost came out of the sockets. Yeah. Whoa, that was that was close. You got to admit that was a hell of a uh, of a clothesline. Yes, very close. Uh, Shane Ballard almost had it. But I think it's only a matter of time before he uh, really has Virgil uh, under the gun. There's a leg drop by Ballard. A Canadian leg drop, mind you. How does that differ from a, uh, a Californian uh, leg drop? It's from Canada. Yes. He calls it the maple syrup drop. So it's kind of sticky. It's the maple syrup leg drop. That's what he calls it. You know, it's a very, Ballard, go ahead. very sticky situation we got. That's what I meant to say. Ballard now with an elbow drop. And this could be the end for Virgil. See, right now, Shane Ballard is toying with Virgil. Look at him. Uh, th now, this is a very risky move. He, and, uh, Ballard going up. Yes. Third to floor. The top. Third floor, third floor, going down. Asking the fans if he should do it. He's going up to the top. He's Why is he asking the fans? Why? Just do it. Ballard off the ropes, crashes. Virgil moved out of the way. Virgil now, oh my goodness! It's the million dollar dream! The million dollar dream! Whoa. And Ballard cannot make it to the ropes! Whoa. Virgil's got him! Shane Ballard needs to get to the ropes and soon, pronto, right now! That's a choco! That's it! That's a choco! No! He has not quit! He has not quit! It's a choke, it's a choco! 
Sparky, would you would you check on the on the man? It's a chokehold. He's got one more chance to get his arm. I can't believe that this man is actually powering out of the million dollar dream. Well it's, well, it's not over yet. He doesn't have he doesn't have it out of the clutches. But uh, but Shane Ballard, I gotta give it to him. Resilient, resilient man. I again, I've seen so few athletes. He's given up. That's it. He's that's it. He tapped out. Ballard has tapped out. The winner of this match between Shane Ballard and Virgil is Virgil. Let's go up to Alan Bolte, our ring announcer. Virgil, a, a, a sweet victory for you right here. How do you feel? He's a good good opposition, bro. But I'm not bringing it to him every night, babe. All right, nice Virgil, night. thank you very much. Virgil here at BTW. Virgil. Well, what are you doing? Leaving, leaving your, your seat. You're, you know, I, I'm doing what any professional broadcast journalist would do, and get up and do an interview with the uh, the athlete. What? What? Pucker up? I'm not puckering up. I just wanted to do, see what he had to say after the match. Why? Why would you want to know what he has to say? Why would anybody know what he has to say? Well, I was interested, and I think the fans are interested too. Meantime, Shane Ballard in a lot of pain. Yes. I think that was a chokehold. I'm gonna file another protest. Look to me like the million dollar dream. Well, it, well, it looked, it looked like it from my vantage point too. We'll be right back with more action here at BTW. Look at Virgil shaking hands with the fans. Now I know how the swine flu started. You're blaming Virgil for that? Why not? Before the match, you were blaming Ballard for that. Well, it, it's anarchy. Maybe you're spreading some of this. Oh, I seriously doubt it there. As a matter of fact, I have my hand sanitizer right here with me. 